What's going on? Welcome to Thumb Tacos. Today, I got three ways you can improve your stream that are going to knock your socks off. Well, I mean, if it happened, at least no one would see it, right? Unless you're a foot streamer, which I don't know if that exists. But no, we're talking about finding motivation, learning a serious engagement trick, and getting you to stream with confidence. One, two, three. Let's go. As always, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Look, streaming can be extremely difficult, and one of the biggest hurdles is finding motivation to get streaming. Now, motivation isn't like a magic spell that just drops fairy dust on you and you can just have it. The easiest way to keep motivation going is simply by doing stuff. And how do we do that as a streamer? How do we stay on task so we keep accomplishing our goals and stay making progress on this journey of live streaming? It's simple. Set up a to-do list that you can accomplish each week. And every time you've nailed that to-do list down and over, it gives you that motivational feel. It feels like you accomplished something. You got your goals done. It feels good to do that. So simply start small, a few simple things, add to that list until you're at the point that you are at your maximum output, getting things done left and right for your stream. So that includes adding things to your stream like extra uh, animations or audio alerts or whatever else you're going to do, new camera setups, different things in the background, all that stuff. Messing with filters and getting your audio to sound better, visuals to sound better, learning different settings with your cameras. All that stuff can be done on a to-do list and getting better at things and learning more things, learning new tricks and stay motivated. Now, this can also include having a schedule and staying on point with your schedule. And I'm telling you right now, if there's either two things, you're either streaming way too much or you're not streaming enough. There's a sweet spot when you start off streaming that you gotta be concurrent enough to keep viewers interested. You gotta follow a schedule. I'm telling you, it works out so much better. If people come in and they like you, they know when you're gonna be streaming next. If it's random, you're gonna miss. And if you miss it, the algorithm stops sending people to your stream. It's that simple. On Facebook gaming specifically, if you can't find a schedule that is consistent to a point, eventually you'll start losing viewership because people will miss your notifications and that tells Facebook that they don't want to watch your content, even though they might want to watch your content. Some food for thought. But yes, find a schedule, stick to it. Find things that you want to get done each week, get them done. And as you start getting this stuff done, I'm telling you, you will start feeling like you have that motivation. It'll get you excited to get things done. Don't leave just yet because now I have an extremely important amazing tool you can use on your live stream that has changed a bit of my own and i'm not even done learning the uh this trick i'm still in the process of getting better at this that's right i've mentioned in a couple videos now improv learning improv is such a huge positive force with live streaming I, I can't even express this enough if you look into improv and you start understanding the fundamentals to being a good improv Improvision, improviser? Improviser, that's the word that I'm looking for. See, I'm so new to it, I don't even know the term. But there are exercises that we can do as streamers day to day to get us better, like practicing talking into a camera, talking about random objects around your room, anything to get your mouth moving a little bit and can be more engaging with uh, the viewers. But there's one huge thing and it's the yes mentality. You say yes to things that come at you from chat. When you can master this, which I am not a master at improv, I'm, I'm telling you, search it out. There's tons of people that are. I'm not a professional at this. I'm just saying I'm, this is something that's helping me with my live stream. But saying yes to stuff in chat, being open to that energy coming your way and being positive and bringing back positivity back out to your stream. I'm telling you, it's a huge tool. It's been, it's been wonderful. I've really enjoyed it. And I'm just barely getting into it. I can't wait to get better at it. But here's one thing that hangs up a lot of us. The last point of today's video. I'm, I just Today's video is going through three structural things that can improve your stream. So tip number three is simply setting yourself up to have confidence instead of trying to be confident into a situation that is unknown. A simple tip is if you're not feeling confident in your stream, set yourself up to do something simple at first to gain momentum to get more confidence. So like for myself, if I'm kind of like playing new games and I'm not feeling that great about it or I have to think too much and I miss chat or uh, my mind isn't in it because I have, you know, you're just not in your comfort zone. I always go back to my safe games, my uh, my Mario runs or my DK runs, all that stuff that I know in and out because when I play those games, I can relax. I can talk to my chat. I can pay attention to all the things that a good streamer needs to pay attention to. This is something that I've kind of just seen the light on a little bit, so it's very important for me to give this a little more time, but I feel strongly at least giving you guys advice as far as confidence go, preparation is part of confidence. If you are prepared and you go live, you will have a better stream. It's just 
that's naturally how it'll go. So if it's the gameplay that's holding you up, recognize that, fix it. If it's something else holding you up, try to recognize and fix that. Be more prepared when you go live. I think that's just a real general but basic thing that can improve a lot of streams all together and i hope it helps you guys out look if you like today's content please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel that way you can keep up with my weekly content i'm making us all better streamers these are experiences that i'm having each week when i stream i share them with you fresh off the plate i don't know what what that means exactly but I'm, i give it to you straight give it to you quick i try to make these videos quick and and uh, to the point so we're not having too much downtime if you guys ever want to hang out live my live link is in the description below over at Facebook Gaming. Other than that, thank you guys, and until next week, catch you later.